In this tutorial, we're going to do a really quick overview of RISE that comes with your Articulate 360 subscription. So we're going to click on the RISE button. This takes us inside of RISE and you can see I could create a new course or I can work on one that I already have. We're going to click on this. And let's preview this course to see what it looks like from the user's experience. So we're going to preview it. You can see the course right here. Right now we're in desktop mode, but these RISE courses are fully responsive. So if I go from desktop to smartphone, you can see that the course responds to the device. And in this case, I can scroll down, I can click on a lesson, and then I'm inside a lesson which I can do. So that's the lesson that I'm doing right now on my phone. What does it look like if I go to my desktop? This is my lesson on the desktop. So you can see it's a fully responsive course. The cool thing when you're working in RISE is you don't have to do the programming. You just worry about building your course, come up with your content, bring the content into RISE, and RISE does all the work for you. So it's really nice and elegant as well. And you can see that as I go through a lesson, there's a little indicator here that shows me how far I am through the lesson. And then up here you have a progress indicator for the entire course. So we happen to be on a labeled graphic interaction. So we're going to click on that. And you can see that it just keeps advancing as I go through that. And let's click on this last one. And now you can see that it's marked complete. So as you go through the lessons, there will be a visual indicator of your progress. And when it's done, you can see it marked complete. Then you can also see where you're at in, the, in terms of the entire course. So that's a labeled graphic. We'll click on one more. This right here is a timeline interaction. I can scroll through that. I'm going to look at it on the phone. And again, it's fully responsive. On the phone, I would use my finger to swipe up. We're just going to scroll down. And you can see as I go through the timeline interaction, to go to the next lesson, uh, I can see that I also have the progress indicator here. I'll go to the next lesson, which is a process interaction. This is what it looks like on the phone. What does it look like on the tablet? Fully responsive and really nice and elegant. So that's the user experience. And again, for you as the course author, you just put your content in RISE. RISE does all the work for you. So let's go ahead and edit a course. When you're working in a course, it's going to be made up of a series of lessons. So these are different ways to compile your content. So in this example, we have a label graphic lesson. Here we have a timeline lesson. If I want to edit it, I just click on Edit. On the labeled graphic, for example, it's made up of an image with a marker. So if I scroll down here, I can change the image and add my own image. If I want to edit a marker, I just click on it and I can add my content here. It's all pretty straightforward, very easy and intuitive. If I want to create a new marker, I just click on the screen. That creates a marker and I can add my content. And here's the garbage can to delete that. So that's working with existing content. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like when you actually want to create something from scratch. So we're going to Go over here. We're going to create a new course. And this gives us the window from which to start. So we're going to add a course title. We'll just call this our Safety 101 course. I can add a description. I just have some generic text that we'll place in here. And then if I want to add a lesson, I just click in here and add a lesson. Now some courses you may have section titles. So we may actually start with the section first. So this is Section 1. I'm going to hit Shift Enter. And you can see that creates a section break. Then I'm going to add a lesson. So this will be Lesson 1. And I'm going to hit Enter. And you can see it creates a placeholder. And I'll do Lesson 2. And we'll hit Enter. And you can see it creates a placeholder. Now once the placeholders are created, I can go ahead and add content. So I'm going to add content. Now you can choose two types of content. There's pre-built lessons. So these are already structured. For example, the process interaction, it assumes a certain structure like a step-by-step -step process. Um, or you can do custom lessons using the blocks. And with the blocks, they're kind of like building blocks where you uh, choose different types of content. You can assemble your own type of lesson. So we're going to do a process first. And, in, and our process interaction, we'll just call it process. And I can add a description. We'll just put some text in here. Let's say step one. We'll just call it one. I'm going to add a step here. And we'll just put a couple of paragraphs of text. So that's our first step in the process interaction. And the second step here, we'll call this two. And we'll just put a single line or a couple lines of text. So we'll get rid of this. 
and then we'll insert an image. So I click on the icon and here's an image and I'll just select an image, hit OK. And it's going to upload the image. And now I see a little thumbnail and we're fine with that step. And we'll just add one more step. We're going to come over here and we'll say this is three. And in this step we'll just have a couple of sentences here and we'll also do an audio recording. So I'm going to delete that text. I'm going to record audio. Click on the microphone. Start recording or I can upload. I'm going to start recording. You can see that the microphone's moving. I'm happy. Hit stop. It uploads. I can play it back. If I don't like it I can hit delete here on the garbage can and then re-record it. So that quickly we built a process interaction. If we preview it and this is what it looks like on the desktop. So I can scrub through that. I can click on my phone, see what it looks like on the phone. It looks really great, fully responsive, and you didn't have to do any work. So that's working with the process interaction, which is a pre built lesson type. Let's look at the lesson types that we can build uh, using blocks. So I'm going to go here. We're at lesson two. We're going to add content, and then we're going to choose blocks. Now, blocks. I start with a blank screen and I'm just going to click on the plus icon here and it's going to open up the different type of content that I can add to my course. So when you add some text, you can look at the different text types. Let's say I want the heading with the paragraph. We'll choose that and you can see now it's here. Anytime you add a block, you'll notice that you can edit it and then you'll have your content and then the settings that you can edit in the blocks. So you can play around with that. And then if you want to change the type of block, so in this case it's paragraph with heading, but I don't like that. So I'm just going to go to plain paragraph and you can see how that swaps that out. And we're going to go to a statement structure and you can see how that works. So a lot of options that you have, a lot of freedom. Anytime you want to add more, you just click on the plus icon here and you can add different types of things. One of the neat things about Rise is that the tool can evolve. So over time we'll add different things. So for example, we click on interactive. You can see I've got different types of interactions here and then we show some that are going to be upcoming. So the tool is always going to be adding some new features and capabilities for you. And let's go ahead and get out of here and look at one final thing. Let's say you build a course and you want to share it. You just go up to share and you get a link and you can share that with anybody and then they can view the course on their device of choice. Or if you want to publish the course or export it for your learning management system, you go to export up here and you can see you can choose your different LMS outputs, your reporting options and how you want to track. And then you would export that and you can upload that to your learning management system. So that's basically it. When you're working in with Rise, it's two key points. One is you just have to worry about the content. You can bring your content into Rise. Rise will do all the heavy lifting. And the other key point is for your end user, they're going to get a really elegant looking course that they can view on their mobile device or any device for that matter. And it's going to look exactly the way you want it to look. So go ahead and play around with it. If you have any questions, jump in the community and ask. We're always there to help you out. And then watch all the other tutorials to learn more about Articulate 360 and all the resources and things available to you to help build great e-learning courses.